Happy Friday, folks. Just showing the uh, crazy growth in the lace plant. If you look, got some X-ray tetras right there playing in the uh, outflow of the FX5, which is kind of fun to watch. They're a fun fish. Uh, let's see if I can get a little more detail on them. I don't spook them. They have really neat it's called an x-ray tetra and they're probably one of the more transparent fish. Let's see if I can get the magnifying glass out on one of them. Just to show you guys. Sorry, not doing a good job of holding the camera still. But they, uh, I don't think the camera does those justice, honestly. The lace plant just keeps booming. Uh, I'm really hoping to see a flower shoot on it soon based on the kind of growth that it is showing. Um, I've got another leaf that is coming out and it's much easier. Let me see if I can give you guys a good shot of the x-ray tetras with the magnifying glass if I can get it out. I'm having having a hard problem. I'm, I'm a one hand challenged. Let's see if I can do a better job here. There's a good a good idea of kind of what they look like. Really, really interesting fish. Getting a little bit of white out there, but Pretty color on them. Have a little bit of almost a pinkish red in the in the tail, but uh, everything else is really transparent. Let's see if I can adjust my lighting here. Tone this down a little bit. Now let's see if I can. But there's you. You can almost see every every organ in the fish if you look really close. But uh, a neat fish, pretty fish. Not really able to do it justice. It's not like this is uh, National Geographic photography here or, you know, IMAX or any of that. But um, but they, they school well. They, they seem to hang out with the rasboras some and then the hatchet fish join them. Um, these guys are happy they just they were just fed uh, this guy looks like he's getting over a fat lip I don't know if he got in it with somebody or not I'm not really sure and, and if you notice well I can't really see it in that angle but uh, they, they keep growing they're doing really well I got a huge shoot right here on the tiger lily which I'm not really crazy about because I'm just trying to keep it low uh, the Glosso, this is the transplanted Glosso from the little island on the 33 gallon, if you guys remember from a previous video, and seems to be holding its own, uh, looking pretty good. Same for this runner here, uh, it seems to be holding and uh, digging in for some roots. So, uh, and there's that little, I can't remember what it's called, but uh, it's a new algae eater I got. It's the Kasi, the red tail Kasi algae eater. I think it K H A S I, I believe. I'm not sure, but anyway, scroll down like within the last 15 or 20 videos, uh, I got a red tail algae eater, and it's whatever that name is on the video. Sorry, I I got too much to keep up with to remember every little detail like that, but. Um, Fish are doing well. This guy keeps getting a little bluer, and that is the one that was really black. Still not as blue as the uh, as the discus behind him, but uh, eats well. 
showing a good sign. Then this guy just kind of comes after him, kind of a bully. Um, but uh, fish are doing well, tank's doing well. I'm really happy with the Ricky it's holding right there. Not really sure about this. That's just a big string of glossa that was growing on that island. I just tried to wrap it around the driftwood and see what happens in it. I don't know, it's kind of weird. But uh, here's another transparent fish. It's pretty wild if you look. These are these are called glass catfish. And they're fun to watch. And I got more I have more than three in this tank. There's some others hanging out in the back. Uh, I just need to find them. Will I say that? Uh, there's 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 one right in there. Anyway, they're kind of shooting around in the back. The discus like to hang out in the back, which is one of their old hiding grounds. So, but they all go back behind that driftwood when the discus aren't moving back in there. So, uh, the ruffle plants bounced back well since the salt. If you guys remember, uh, this is an Italian vowel piece that I just moved over from the 33, and I was just trying to find something small to give that just a little bit of a spike. Um, it's Trident Java Fern, which just looks really weird. I don't know. It, it, it looks strange there, in my opinion. And there's actually some small uh, Trident Java Trident Fern right there. Um, one of the names for it. I, I can't remember. There's other names. The Wisteria that I put back in there looks like it's doing well. It's holding. And it's kind of crawling up behind that Amazon sword. Um, and things are rolling. I, I, I'm just really happy with the lace plant. I feel really fortunate. I, I moved it into the water flow. Uh, it definitely lacks a high flow. The other advantage is it's not as bright. By moving it to the end here, my lights aren't as bright as if it was in the middle. And... Um, I trimmed the roots and then, you know, buried it in the organic dirt, and I think it's just kicking. It's 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 a happy plant, so always fun to have happy plants. But uh, hey, you guys uh, have a great weekend. Hope everybody's doing well. Just kind of pull out here on the tank and uh, let you guys check it out for a little bit. But uh, just gonna relax with the fish, get an adult beverage, and call it a week. So, thanks for watching. You guys let me know what you want to see. I did try to put a video up last night of me doing a water change. They take me about 35 minutes uh, from, from complete going in the garage to getting the hoses to taking the hoses down and putting it back in the garage and, you know, walking away from the tank. So, that's not really bad for a water change for a 120. And that is, uh, those two look like, they're making out those two discus. Wow, I'm gonna freak if I start having baby discus. That will get me to get another tank. I'll be like selling my car. Uh, anyway, yeah, that will. I don't know. We'll see. I can see those two. Uh, be interesting. Um, lost my train of thought there, but the. Um, I did a water change, it was 35 minutes, and uh, I'm gonna try to speed it up, put it on a video just to show it from you know start to stop, and that's really it. You guys let me know what you wanna see, got any questions. Uh, a lot of people ask me questions about this tank. Really quick, well, I, you know what? I'm just gonna put it on my channel. I already just put it on my channel, what the tanks are, and uh, just quit having to repeat myself, but. Welcome to new subscribers, uh, and uh, welcome old, old subscribers. Hope you guys are doing well. Look forward to you guys need to post some videos. Been looking for videos from people, and everybody's been busy. So it's definitely a pretty time of the year. It's fall here in the U.S. and uh, great weather. So you guys, uh, you guys enjoy your three-day weekend, and uh, thanks for watching. Later.